Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we dealt with the cult over at the church and rescued the medic and their child. And now we need to find somebody called a crest to uh, finally repair the train. Not even our engineer knows how to repair it. Не знаю даже, как подступиться. Это специалисты в мастерских такие вещи. Ты ведь сейчас идешь в порт механика искать, что от сектантов там прячется. Угу. Mm Постарайся -hmm. найти. So over... А тут корни пустим. There. You might have noticed the sun just went down. Yeah, I actually kind of forgot that this game has a day-night cycle. I don't think the other metros did. There really was not much of a reason for it. This is going to be really interesting, a day-night cycle. All right, let's go. Uh, where do I start? I guess just up here. Привет, Артём. Здорово, Артём. Ты там молодцом выступил. Thank you. Cup is attached to your notepad. I'll always point towards the current objective. Oh, I see. The compass on the top left, that little yellow dot, I think, is my next objective. So, like, right there points towards it. That looks about right. I don't have a compass on my little arm thing, do I? No. Nope. Okay, let's go. All right, so I got a decent amount of ammo for this thing. Nothing for this pistol. And some for this little pneumatic thingy. Pretty sure those things are aggressive. But I'll wait for it to attack me. Why is that moving? Hey, that's a bunch of bunnies on a little raft. What the heck? Oh my god! Bunnies! Uh... Uh... Are they about to be eaten? I... I... Wh how... Huh? Uh... 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 I want to follow them? I don't think I could just go swim, or at least I shouldn't. I... I'm gonna follow them. Is that a watcher? <sighs> yep. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I got them. The post apocalypse is a cruel world. The dirtier a weapon gets, the more its performance degrades. Any workbench will allow you, allow you to fix the dirt problem. Okay, so I need a proper workbench, right? Not my kind of like makeshift workbench that I can get just by opening up my back. I guess I'll just try to run across? Nah, there's a proper way across over here. So this weapon's probably going to have trouble firing, I'm guessing, because it does look exceptionally dirty. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's a... We can, like, walk over some... Do oh, Some tanks, I think. Oh. Did I crack through the ice? I think... I think I did? I'm not quite sure what happened. Okay, what's that mean? That little icon popped up. I'm near one of those things. Does that mean something? I guess that means something has been marked on your map. I see like a... I see a boat, but there's also another symbol there for like a... Train, maybe? Well, I'm not quite sure what that is. Or maybe that's for the bridge. It doesn't look like a bridge. Uh, 
Oh. Right, we just came back to the train. That is the train. Yep. Okay. Mm hmm It's fine. Don't worry. Oh, Jesus, this thing is really inaccurate. And the weapon's jammed. Wow, this weapon kind of sucks. I thought it'd be good because it had that nice scope, but no, it's incredibly inaccurate. There's no point in having a scope when it's that inaccurate. Iron sights would be better. Which, actually, I can make that happen. Let's do that real quick, although I'm probably going to ditch this thing at the soonest opportunity. The fuck? Did you spit acid at me or something? What just happened? Yep, they spit acid. Great. So yeah, like, what do these mean? Do they mean something? Maybe they're just to mark that you're kind of going a significant way? You're on, like, a walkable path or something? I love those little tin can candles. Yeah. Nice and comfy. First time I've been in rain. Whoa. That looks like a very dirty, absurd thing. Is that a shotgun or a really big pistol? Uh, well, let's have that replace. This piece of crap. Yeah, this thing is so dirty. Oh, it is a shotgun. Yeah, that's the type of ammo it uses. Shells. So it's just a huge double-barreled shotgun. I mean, the shotgun, like, it, for a shotgun, it's not that big, but it's got, like, a pistol body is the weird part. Oh, 
The military outpost. Sounds intriguing. They couldn't go in there because of chemicals, but we should be fine with our gas mask. Probably some good stuff in there if it's military. And an abandoned house across the channel somewhere. Rest to change time of day and replenish your health. Oh, you can sleep! That's also new. That definitely was not a thing in the old stalkers. Ooh, and a workbench. A proper workbench. Um... I should probably sleep just to heal, but... It's raining and creepy. And I kind of like it. I'm just going to leave it. Although I do have no medkits. Hmm. It'll be fine. Let's see if we can clean up our gear. So what can we do here that we couldn't do? Obviously we can clean up stuff. Okay, I mean I can craft stuff just like normal. It's not cheaper to craft, is it? I don't think so. Let's definitely make a med kit. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see like your your thing get filled up with with meds and stuff. Oh, that's super cool. Mm, and you can make actually like more advanced ammunition. Stuff with gunpowder and things like that. You can make the basic steel balls for your pneumatic gun, but you can't make these at uh, your backpack. Yeah, we can make these two. Mm, we can make grenades. Hand grenade and Molotov cocktail. Don't have the stuff to craft either of those. Holy crap, those look nasty. Bunch of nails taped all around them to give it some nasty shrapnel. Jesus, wouldn't want to be in that blast. Ammo's pretty expensive to make. Yeah, 30 assault rifle shots for 30 of that, plus 10 of this. Probably should craft some, though. But then again, these steel balls are so cheap. Um, I'll... I'll craft some assault rifle ammo. like put it on a, a thing get to actually see it oh that's really cool bounces around as the weight changes <laughs> yeah so how are these looking this was just given to us it looks perfectly fine this thing looks dirty as hell my god this thing also looks super nasty it has like no handle at all I mean look at that it's gotta feel terrible to hold Weapon cleaning. Remove the dirt, grime, and water from the weapon mechanism using chemicals. If you allow too much dirt to accumulate on a weapon, eventually it will be completely ruined. Okay, so things can actually break. Uh, what is it? Oh, cleaning costs 13 chemicals, so I can't even clean it. Okay. Does it depend on the weapon? Yes. The dirtier it is, the more it takes. Makes sense. Oh, and that would be how much... Wait, what is that? Is this how dirty it is or how clean it is? That's gotta be how clean it is, right? Yeah, that's how clean it is. Well, this thing's a piece of crap, but I guess I might as well change it, huh? Grip only. Hunting stock. More stability. Yep, and it looks more like a proper gun and not some very, very odd pistol. Let's get a double barrel. That increases damage and accuracy, lower stability. But uh, I'd rather have two shots at a time than just one. Yeah, uh, red dot, be good. Okay, yeah, that's good, and I know the pistol's already fine. Now, what about this? Oh, you have to repair your gas mask. Interesting, so that's new. Um, this way of repairing your gas mask is new. In the past Metro games, I don't know if it was both of them or just one of them, I can't remember, but in at least one of the past Metro games, your gas mask would take damage, it would start to get cracked, and you would have to repair it, or, well, you'd have to replace it. You couldn't actually directly repair it, you had to find a new gas mask, and you could just take gas masks off of anybody, I think just switch it out all the time. But now you have to actually properly repair it. 
Spartan helmet. So, so I guess we can put on different types of armor if we had them. Electrical equipment. Our vest allows carrying a limited amount of ammunition, throwing weapons and consumables, such as medkits and filters. Okay, so if I find a different vest, I could maybe carry more stuff. Ooh. What is this? Oh, it's the same thing, but just upgraded, right? Yeah, it's the Bracer plus the compass. Oh, heck yeah, let's put that on. There we go. Cool. Freaking love this game so far. There we go. There we go. It's a cool little compass. I wonder if it's lit up green because it's nighttime. I love that little... I was going to say LED. I don't know if it is an LED, but that little light on her bracer. So cool. The way it like blinks out, blinks on. What am I hearing outside? It sounds like thunder or something. Um. Oh, I was doing the opposite direction. We want the red thing to face the green dot, not the other way around. There we go. Yeah, what am I hearing outside? That does not sound good. I crafted uh, automatic weapon ammunition, but I don't have an automatic weapon, so, you know. Jesus. I thought I was far enough away from it. <laughs> that would appear to be an anomaly. Yeah, let's not go towards it, actually. I imagine it's especially conductive and dangerous when it's raining. light this up might make it a little bit easier to spot from afar. I really should probably sleep to heal, but I just don't feel like it. I don't want to ruin the mood. Gotta head over that direction on land, just kind of follow the shore, and we should be able to get to a little pathway that will lead us to the spot where... What was his name? Crest is? Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. Maybe I should rest. Yeah, okay, okay, let's see how this works. Maybe I can heal just by resting for like an hour? Sun, moon, or what's, what's this one? Is that to heal? Yeah, that just healed me. Okay, so you don't even have to actually rest. I mean, like, you can just sit down and take a drink and that's resting to heal, but it doesn't have to pass any time. Okay, that's really cool. Right. Well, given that I have assault rifle ammo, let's go with this piece of crap. in here. I can probably just, like, throw knives at him, right? Okay. And I can get the knives back, right? Yes. It 
Is that a tiny watcher, like a baby one? Or something else entirely. This is so fucking moody, my god, this is really... This is seriously giving me stalker feelings. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love the Metro series. Is because it had somewhat of a similar feel to Stalker in some ways, but it was also very different in other ways. But this is feeling a lot more like Stalker. Open world, raining, time of day changes, brutal and unforgiving, lots of things to fiddle with that you need to keep doing. Like wiping your mask, putting on and off your mask, and all the other things you have to manage. Repairing your weapons, stuff like that. I'm actually surprised you don't have to eat. I still don't know what that exclamation mark thingy means. Anyway, this is where Crest should be. What is that? Just a light, I suppose. I thought it was moving. I think there are binoculars at some point, but I guess I don't have them. I'm pressing B and you see that little icon pop up. I think that means you're missing it. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's new. I feel like they always introduce enemies this way. Every new enemy, you gotta punch him in the face. <laughs> Look at those hands. I love it, if you click really, really fast, you get that like super fast pumping motion. Hey rats. Look at him. Can I zoom in more? Not really, I don't have a scope. Hey buddies, goodbye. Yeah, that's, that's not okay. Burn them. Oh, hey. You're not a skeleton. You were here recently. They don't look like they've decayed at all. webs up on the ceiling, but I can't burn these. Too small. Jesus Christ, I did not mean to do that. It scared the shit out of me. We're pretty close. Oh, I didn't even need to take that out, because I have the compass on my hand. Wait, that way? Am I misreading this? That's pointing right at it. Ooh. Does it not point directly to the objective, but like, the next place I need to go to get to the objective? Like, little steps along the path, or what? Because that is definitely not pointing towards the thing. Something's going down. 
Oh, I think they're being attacked by mutants. Uh, I need to get up here, don't I? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, hey. Some oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Kill him faster, I guess next time I'll throw a knife. That's my only med kit. Let's get going. Hello. Wish I knew what that said. I have the um, sign subtitles thing on, but something as small as that is sadly not considered a sign. So how is that different? It's the same base, but then all the parts that are orange in the icon are the things that are different, right? Looks like it has a laser sight plus something. Definitely seems better. Yeah, laser sight. Heck yeah. I kind of wonder if there's something out here. Man! You know how there were stashes in Stalker? Some good up here. I think from up here is the only way you can reach this other tower. Never mind, there's absolutely nothing. Oh, look at those look, how those look in the wind. That is so cool. Also, I think there's monsters coming. Please lower the thing. Oh god, what was that thing? Don't know, goodbye. Ну ты суров, братка. А же приятно посмотреть, честное слово. Ведь это хуже мутанты, я дело знают. Если деревенских поймают, то тем сразу крачун. А ты их как капусту нашинковал. Ну, здорово. Меня крестом звать. А ты с того провозу, значит? А местные с вами, небось, разговаривать не стали, а? Сразу валить начали. Ну, так я хрен и дрить их за ногу. Я тут долго уже парюсь. Знаю, что да как. У них секта тут, а. Верят, а, мол, техника старый мир сгубила. Ну и, значит, а, за техническую грамотность, сам понимаешь, ни разу не привечают. Ну, 
Ну а меня так и вовсе в клетку законопатить хотели. Покуда демона ихнего электрического сам убивать не побегу. За сатанизм, вот. А какой я сатанист -то? Всю жизнью технику подчиняю, да торговлюшка еще промышляю. А теперь на восток вот намылился. Не хрен в этой части страны ловить. Наездился. Все города выжжены, а вокруг одни бандиты да нечисти. А там-то с Волгой место немерено. Так получше должно быть. А, ну так и вот, а, пилил себе мирно, полная дрезина добра. Думал, торгану по дороге. <смех> Черта с два, еле ноги унес. Но, как вы тут нарисовались, появился у меня мысля. Самому бы и ни по чем не справиться. Ну а раз вам тоже на восток, то в такой-то компании. Я вашу колымагу, между прочим, бинокль видал. Неясно, как она еще не издохла. Кстати, бери бинокль, сейчас все тут покажу. Вон, видишь, мост? Вот эта секция вверху должна опускаться. Аварийный механизм на месте, но вот работает он, нет. Это Катя с церкви знать должна. Я-то на мосту не был. Вон там направо ангар здоровенный. Это терминал. У придурков с моста там типа святое место. Все стены размалевали. Царь рыба у них там обитает. Как есть идиоты. Еще правее, где вагонов куча. Это депо бывшее, там сейчас бандюки обосновались. Ну вообще место богатое. Да и вокруг ничего. I've no idea what Jerry they're talking about. I was just reading all the tips and stuff. В удобных местах, так что переночевать, отремонтироваться, патронов набить теперь много где можно. Так что ищи, пригодится. Хотя, конечно, можно и просто у костра ночь пересидеть, хоть согреешься. Пойдем, покажу мое логово. Heard something out here. Like here? It's not marking though. Hmm. Seems like a really cool system. I need to mess with it a little bit more. It was kind of a bit much to have somebody talking constantly, and I have to read the subtitles, and I gotta read the, the hints saying how to use the binoculars while actually using the binoculars. Too many things. But it seems really cool. Let's see what the icons look like on the map. Yeah, they're pretty faint. So some of them are actual... Uh, I guess... Okay, I guess the ones I've actually been to are the ones that have the black marks where they're actually a, a thing. Like the church symbol up there. The train symbol where the train is. And then the things that I marked with the binoculars just show up as question marks until I actually visit them. Okay. Cool, so I'm actually going to be able to scout. And mark stuff on my map. I think I'm really going to enjoy that. That might be like the first thing I do when I get to any new area is try to find a really high spot. Тут все логово мое. Вот я так и живу. Не дворец, но опасно. Тут вот а, сплю. Если устал, мой дом, а, твой дом. Верстак вот сделал, ковыряюсь потихоньку. Если патроны нужны или гранаты, пользуйся, материалы вот лежат. Вообще все, что видишь, полезного забирай. Мне все равно с собой тащить не с руки. Давай, не стесняйся, пробуй. Thanks. I desperately need this stuff. В общем, братка, у меня этот чемодан не только шурдовиду. Возгов там делать не буду. А руки, видишь, золотые. Не пожалеете, что взяли. Пойдем, ну, братка, жесток. Wait, did, did I just do with that? 
Oh, I stopped that from playing. Wait, I thought there was some... Huh? Was there another radio playing, or was that Crest talking to me from outside, so it sounded like a radio? Zip line down? Ooh, that sounds exciting. Okay, hold on, we gotta use the workbench first. Or sleep. Hm, don't need to do that. Okay, I took the Kalosh and did a couple modifications to it. Uh, I'd already had the red laser, what did I do? Oh, I'm going to put the um, 4x scope on it. I thought I did that, but I didn't. There we go. I figure it seems more accurate now that it has a laser sight on it. I think. So hopefully that will actually be useful. I now have a short barrel and flash suppressor or a standard barrel and compensator. I'm going to go with this. It's got better damage, better accuracy, less stability, slightly less rate of fire, but I care more about damage and accuracy. And let's go ahead and clean it, because it's in terrible condition. Oh, that's cool. So you can partially clean it. You don't have to just, like, do the whole thing. And it gets cleaner as you go. I wonder if that improves the accuracy as well. I think it did, because these two things are here, but I wasn't looking at them while I was cleaning it. I also made a uh, med kit. Can I make another one? No. Need more chemicals. I could actually dismantle a couple of these. There we go. Yeah, I haven't really needed my gas masks very much. Okay. Oh man, this looks so cool in the dark. All these little things lit up. So yeah, I figure... I figured the, the uh, laser sight is good for fairly close range, without even zooming in, and then scope is good for long range, although it might not be accurate enough for that to matter. But if so, then I can just not use it. Want me to light that cigarette for you? Zzzz. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be so fun. <laughs> Better get out of the way when they come down too, right? They... where... where did they go? They are joining us, aren't they? Okay. Sounds like there's an anomaly outside. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think we're going to head back to the train to get uh, Crest back there, if they're even following me. I don't know where they went. <laughs> and we're going to go see if we can find Anna at the antennas.